lot of you guys are wondering what's going to go on with the 360 and Chris and Jen. Those guys were, uh, they were on a ripper and we went them back on the water and they went back on the water. And that's all I need is their drive, their motivation to jump in and help them out. So the chaos of the sport and the chaos of this team is going to shine right now, I believe. We worked all day Monday and we completely dismantled the 360. It is torn down to absolutely nothing. We did this in about four hours. We got the pump, that's the biggie, getting the pump and the pump block out of it. The engine is out, everything is out. We have a giant pile of parts. So now what are we gonna do? Are we gonna fix this thing or what? Well, I, didn't, I honestly wasn't interested in fixing it. That bottom is just so tweaked. Uh, camera doesn't pick it up at all, but it is just, it's got a giant bulge in the bottom. Could you straighten it? Sure, somebody could, but I'm not interested in doing that. But then I remembered while we're at the track, I'm like, wait a minute. Scotty Saxton has this exact same hole built up in Canada. So boom, <laughs> introducing the new 360. <laughs> this is gonna be a crazy build. It looks slightly different. They did a, a little bit of a kind of a beat or press break on the bow. So we are going to thrash right now. It is... Uh, Today is Wednesday. It's Wednesday morning. I got home last night. I have today. I got to work tonight and I have Friday. Then next week I have part of Monday and part of Wednesday and I guess Friday. We're going to try to get this boat done. I honestly want to see how much we can get done by the end of Friday. Um, if we can get the pump in here, the pump block placed in here today, uh, that would be a huge, huge victory. And the only other big fabricating thing is this boat, this hole has no strakes on it. I have the strake material. We got to cut that. We got to cut them to shape and get those on. So if we can get, I don't know, I, if I can just get the pump in here today, that would be a huge uh, success. But here goes, you're going to watch us build a boat in literally about two days. So <laughs> wish us luck. Chris and Jen, they're diehard, and we're diehard. We want to get them back on the water. They want back on the water. Here we go. We're doing pretty good we got the pump block uh, cut out or the hole cut out for the pump to go in there drilled tapped all those things are in got the transom cut out uh, you can see the giant hole back here giant hole there i had chris and jen measure and cut the strakes to length right off of the 360 we're just going to match those exactly so they were cutting uh, those things sent jen to the world famous arlington ace hardware got the bolts to bolt the pump down in or i wanted to flip it over and work on the strakes so lining out the strakes uh, we got the first one measured and then everything is going to be based off of that. So measuring out the welds, where the welds are going to go. Here we go. My goal today, have the strakes on, have the pump glued in by 5 p.m., take a two hour nap, fly to uh, Columbus, Ohio. Here we go.
my goal today is to get the engine in, bolted in 100% in. Uh, that is gonna drive the roll cage location. However, we're having some issues already. Not a huge deal, but I'm gonna show you outside here on the old 360 is the span between the two engine bears. I wanna say mine are 19 inches and unfortunately, it's not, I mean, is this just kind of a design thing? These are, I wanna say 24 inches. So when you spin the motor around, you can see those feet are not lining up on the engine bears. So that is, uh, that's the first major issue we're gonna to have to tackle. I'm gonna to have to rebuild all new uh, engine mounts for this thing to sit in. So that's what we're gonna to do today. Gotta to get to work. We gotta get this engine in. All right, so we'll say hi to the brand new uh, 360 boat. This is the same exact hull as the other one. It was already built by Scotty Saxton up in Canada of Fat Buddy Racing. So we put together a deal and we just swapped this out. You saw the time lapse of everything. This thing is ready to go. I can't believe that it went together so fast. Um, and honestly, without too much issue, we got I don't know, a little bit of difference in the bow, how they press broke the, uh, the bow lid, but this thing is ready to go. We're gonna throw it on the trailer. You guys ready to rock the new boat or what? We're ready. Can you believe that we built a boat in like four days? No, it was unbelievable. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. I, I honestly have never done anything this great. I mean, we did the 20 day um, wrench fest to finish the 146, but this was a little different. This was, uh, I mean, we had, we had that boat torn apart in three and a half hours. Yeah, that thing, yeah, we literally, and the biggest thing out of that is getting that stupid pump out. That though, that glue, have you guys ever seen a glue like that? No, that was, that was like <laughs> cement. It was, yeah, it was crazy getting that stuff out of there. But the cool thing about this is the roll cage. All that was like essentially modular, the steering attached to the roll cage, the gas pedal. We took, just took all that stuff out and just transferred it right over because it's more or less the same exact hole, the steering, everything, like literally just kind of transferred over. So yeah, there was some, uh, some kind of fit and finish kind of stuff, but uh, I don't know. I think it should rip though. There's there's no reason it's it should, and it's the same exact hole. And we actually did change our our balance a little bit in this boat to actually maybe this thing might be a little bit faster. All right, well let's get this thing on the trailer. We got to get rocking. It is uh, it's time to go racing this weekend. 